Welcome to Irvin Data Modeler tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to have a conceptual, logical, and a physical model all in a single file. What you're seeing here is a conceptual model. Uh, so I have an entity and I have a description for that entity. And in this diagram, I have uh, the logical model and I can as well have a physical model here. I didn't implement the naming standards. That's why you're seeing the full uh, description of the entities and, and the uh, attributes. So let's go about and see how to create a, a conceptual model in Irwin first and then how to have a conceptual and a, a logical and physical all in a, in a single file. In Irwin we don't have a separate type of model called conceptual. We just have logical, physical or logical, physical. So the way we create a conceptual model is we switch to the logical or, or for that matter physical we just create uh, the required entity and change the display level to the definition. So basically, uh, by default, uh, this is a table level display. This is a primary key level display. Um, and this is all the attribute display. And here is the comment display or the definition display. So once we click those, only the description that we add to the entity is visible and that's what pretty much a conceptual model is which helps us capture the definition of the critical entities. So here I have captured the conceptual model on, on the logical or on the physical side as well I go and uh, you know I click the comment level display um, which is not the default by the way this is how you would actually go and see it and I would change that back to um, the definition level display. So I have my conceptual model level ready and any any entity that I create in here say I create an entity called instructor that will be visible immediately in my logical side but if I create an entity on the logical side the same entity will not be visible in the conceptual and that's what we wanted. Uh, so let's go about and see how to create uh, this file. So first we need to create a logical physical model. Uh, that way you can see a logical and then the physical model. Uh, so let me rename the diagrams. Okay, The first one, sorry. Uh, I renamed this to say conceptual see conceptual model and in here I create an entity say student and I select the display level to definition display level so a student so you'll add a definition of a student right and you click one more and say you add a definition for a course courses right so this is our uh, conceptual model and just since we renamed the model as conceptual it becomes better if you go back to the physical as well and change the display that of that uh, part to uh, def uh, definition as well and that way uh, for whatever reason if it's accidentally uh, selected one or the other the, the view is still the same next what I do is I go to ER diagrams and I create a new diagram and I'll call that as logical physical okay and one important step I need to do here is I click for the properties and I click this check this box called auto populate and what this does is it automatically populates the entities that we created in the uh, conceptual uh, model because we selected as auto populate so it assumes from the other model it has to take all those entities and uh, put in this uh, logical physical and in here uh, I can basically uh, have the default uh, attribute display level and say here I create student identifier and say student first name. Uh, 
so you have this uh, logical entity and if you apply naming standards and other stuff uh, apply data types you will see that in the uh, physical as well and um, but instead of adding an entity in the conceptual model and seeing in the logical side if you need to add an entity only on the logical side say a student course entity this entity will not be visible in your conceptual model so this way we isolated uh, the conceptual model from the logical model uh, provided that you add a model to a, uh, entity to the logical model it stays only in the logical uh, but if you add an entity in the conceptual model it, it shows up in the logical model so the, I thought this would be a nice way of uh, show, having a conceptual, logical and physical model all in a single file so it becomes much uh, easier to maintain and if you're teaching someone that it, it's, it's a great way of uh, showing how the transition uh, happens from a conceptual to logical uh, to physical. I uh, hope this video was uh, useful and thanks uh, for watching.